What's up guys, this is Mike from Gaming Ahead, here to bring you the Madden 11 video review. Madden has always been the flagship series of sports games for EA. That doesn't necessarily make it the best sports game that EA has to offer. Although Madden pulls in the numbers every year, there's little to say about the improvements they make to their game. There's always very little differences to the engine and very little tweaks. You still get that clunky feeling and animated moves that you've always gotten in Madden. There's also never really any extra game modes that they add or mini games. It's usually all the same stuff from the year before. In the short list of changes that EA's made in Madden 11, they did add Gameflow. Gameflow basically takes the place of Ask Madden. Gameflow picks the obvious play for the situation, lets you know what they pick, and allows you to get right back into the action. This was engineered mostly for casual players who just want to sit back, play a game, not really have to sit there and scroll through menus and playbooks. Another small change they made is they put in a new punt, kickoff, and field goal system. Now instead of a circle right in the middle of the screen, you get a meter right at the bottom. Madden doesn't usually have any competition in the gaming industry, but I do have to say 2011 has brought two other games which I can say are better football games than Madden. One being Backbreaker, which is probably the most overlooked sports game due to the lack of NFL licensing. The other would be NCAA. Usually NCAA plays in the shadows of its professional counterpart, but I feel with a different team on board for NCAA this year, they've gone above and beyond and made a really solid football game. With that being said, I feel there is a lot of room for improvement in the Madden series. Hopefully next year we can see some major changes in the franchise. Mad 11 gets a gaming ahead score of generic. There you have it guys, once again this was Michael Pham from Gaming Ahead.